Sports Report. When every second counts, count on Vital Care Med Trans. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best. Wait a minute, are you out of here? Yes, we are. Oh, good. State-of-the-art equipment and a well-trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care Med Trans, when nothing but the best will do. Calvary Christian Academy and Daycare, located at 2139 Jacksboro Pike, behind Murphy's Gas in La Follette. Also located at 2139 Jacksboro Park is Calvary Worship Center. Our midweek service is Thursday at 7 p.m. Sunday worship service at 6 p.m. For more information, you can call 423-562-7267. That's 423-562-7267. Our Cougars baseball team have won four out of their last five games, not counting last night's two big wins over the Highlanders of Scott High. Behind the almost perfect pitching of Ryan Harmon, who started game one on the mound for the Cougars, they rallied to score eight big runs en route to an eight to nothing route. Ryan first started on the mound, he mixed in his fastball just well enough to keep the Highlanders off stride at the plate all game long. Check this out. He only gave up one hit in five innings. He struck out nine, he walked one, he hit a batter, and that was it. But that was more than enough. He only allowed one Highlander to reach third, one reached second, and one reached first, and with great defense, didn't allow any more base runners. We again made no errors. They made only one, but we got eight runs on five hits. We left only five on base, and they left three on base, but that was the base runners Ryan allowed. And on the offensive side, his first ever, Tate McGee with nobody out, Two on base, he hit a shot over the left field wall for a three-run home run. He must have been looking for the fastball because when he got it, he locked on and he smacked it out. Of course, Ryan Harmon will get the win. Senior Andrew Evans went for two for three. He scored a run. Tate McGee scored two runs. Matt Ogden, Aaron Sanders, Randy Harmon, Ben Bostick, and Max Ferris all scored one run each. So everybody chipped in. The Cougars played two Thursday night, as I said. They won 9-2 in the night cap in five innings and sent the Highlanders home with a bad feeling as they will prepare Friday to play the Blue Devils at Scott High this Friday afternoon. Now Friday, our Cougars will be at Carter for a 5.30 start up there. You can check our website, 1450WLAF.com, because I believe my tag team partner Joe Monroe and I will be broadcasting the game at Anderson County this Tuesday starting at 5.30 and the way our Cougars are playing right now, this should be a very good competitive game. I want to thank Reagan Murray though, who is the daughter of Matt and Ashley Murray for helping old David out as our partner Joe Monroe couldn't be with me, so Reagan set in with me. Reagan will be a fifth grader this upcoming year at Valley View. She's also on the cheer team up there and she plays coach pitch baseball in the Campbell County Youth Baseball League. Now Friday night will be senior night at the Cougar Den as the Lady Cougars will play Oneida starting at 5.30 and we'll be up there to cover that. Also going to attempt to get down to Asbury and cover the little ones in action down there if we can. Lily loves the diner on Jacksboro Park and it's no wonder with all the goodies they have down there. Not to mention the great home cooking. Not surprising they're voted Campbell County's best again for 2014. Open Monday through Wednesday 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday through Friday 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Also open Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now serving breakfast on Saturdays 8 to 11 a.m. And it's all you can eat specials Thursday through Saturday. Welcome to the diner where you'll find all your favorite foods. Come by and see Amanda or Linda at the diner on Jacksboro Pike, 423-566-4708. Okay, here's some things on tap for Friday. Rick Cox and the Blue Devils are at Scott High, a team, as you know, just lost two to the Cougars. Now, they'll get started at 530, and it's senior night, as I said, for the Lady Cougars softball team. Well, for the seniors, and we'll get up there and see who they are. We know that one is Christy Stanley. That starts also at 5.30, and of course, the Cougars are at Carter. 
Saturday, the Lady Blue Devils are at Wayne County, but we don't know the time. And Camel County Middle School baseball team will take on South Doyle up at Brown Archer Field at 1 p.m. And we'll have those results on the next sporty also. The Little Ones will be playing at Pine, Liberty, and Asbury Park Friday. Talking about the Campbell County Youth Baseball Softball League. And they'll start up at 6 p.m. at all locations. Mike Riley and the Campbell County Youth Soccer League will go back at it this Saturday morning. And we'll have the scoop on that action for, for you on the next sporty. It starts at 10 a.m. Josh Edders is the new president of the Campbell County Youth Football Association, which I reported on last Monday. And he had his sign-ups this past Saturday. And they'll have two more sign-ups, two more chances for you to sign your little one up this Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. and one more on May the 2nd, also from 3 to 5 p.m. Now, the sign-up fee is $75, and you need to bring a birth certificate and a photo of the child when you sign your little one up. They'll be at the West LaFollette Rec Center, and for more information, you can call Josh at 423-437-1776. Okay, that's a real quick look at today's sports. I thank you guys for being with us. You guys stay tuned because there's lots more to come right here on WLAF.